Hey everyone, Ryan Williams here. Now, of course, you guys know me. Well, if you do know this channel, of course, I do used to do wrestling videos. And of course, unfortunately, I decided to stop because my ventures made me decide to just start doing something else. Unfortunately for me, I've decided to stop watching WWE because I just do not find it satisfying anymore. It served pretty much a good 20 years of my lifetime. And look, I still have a little look on the YouTube here and there. But if I'm honest with you guys, I'm totally done with it. Now, of course, if you guys don't know... I have another channel, of course, Ryan Williams AFC. If you're not sure about that, it's the Arsenal channel um, where I do game reviews, previews, etc. Any Arsenal topics, that's just that. Might make another channel or another show sooner or later, do you know what I mean? Involving more about the top six or even more just about the football league itself. So stay tuned for that in 2020. 2020, I'm going to do a lot more things. And speaking of a lot more things, this is why I'm back on this channel. Now, I'm looking to turn this channel into more of a personal channel. And what I mean by that is, now, obviously a little bit deeper in myself. And a little bit more of a social channel. In terms of more of a sit down and chat. And the reason why I've done this, because I've always been a person where... You know, you can sit down and talk to me, etc. And, you know, a lot of people don't have time to sit down and listen to people, which I feel in this day and age is very important because you've got a lot of people that are going through midlife crisis, um, a lot of mental health issues such as drugs, drug abuse, child abuse, um, you name it. The most horrific stuff ever to happen to people. Um, even to the point where social problems, I mean, you can't even talk to people. You, you lack social skills. You're feeling very, very, very insecure about yourself. And I've always thought, you know, for me to be open and honest to people because that's all I've ever been. But not many people like that stuff because everybody's so caught up in some... I don't know. I don't know how to put it. I'm not saying everything out there, but a lot of people are not really being themselves, are they? In terms of they're putting on, they're playing certain music because their friends or whoever they're with enjoys it. They have to put on a certain facade uh, because they're afraid that people might see the real them and not really feel them, etc. That is a major problem, especially... Now we're in 2020, I mean, mental health is probably as big as it is, as it ever will be. And hopefully we can do something along the lines this year and so on and so on to help people out. Because, listen, we've all had bad days, we've all been stressful, but just talking to people for five, ten minutes or even watching a video of some type of therapy, you know, you want to meditate, take deep breaths in, bring them out, all that good stuff, you know what I mean, and I feel that's what's missing, there's just a lot of shouting and not enough listening, that's the problem, too many arguments, too many um, emotions, and trust me, I've been there myself, too much, too much, and Let's be real, it's all stemmed from moments in our past we've either blocked, not wants to talk about, or anything. And hey, look, I don't really mind being honest and open because, like I said, I've, I've been doing this shit for 27 years. And to be honest with you, it's not going to stop. This is the whole reason why I've decided to do this channel because I've always been a person that's had issues, that's had social skills issues, that's been... Um, not confident in what they're saying um, and to be honest with you that's been very insecure about themselves because of things they've had in the past I mean if I'm, honest, if I'm going to be completely honest and people might get 
you know, dragged into this. No names, don't worry, I'm not that type of person. But when it comes to situations, I mean, let's be real. You was part of the journey. But I'm not blaming you. It's not your fault. Things happen for a reason, as they say. But, again, it's all about testing your mental strength. I mean, I've been through it. I've been, you know, my, my dad wasn't really there for me. Didn't really teach me much. You know, I mean, I grew up in a house where I felt kind of left out. I've always felt like I kind of had to impress my mom or my older sister, my younger brothers, give them something to look up to, etc. My family, I've always looked up to my cousin. I've always looked up to everyone, all the male figures in my family. Like, I've always wanted to prove to them something. Do you know what I mean? And I felt I needed to prove something to myself the most because I've been called various names over the years. Weak, spineless, you're not a man, etc. All that crap, yeah, from when I was younger. And I never really dealt with it. You know, went through school, didn't have many friends. Um, I've always felt I was a loner. I've always felt people didn't really understand me, didn't really want to talk to me. Because sometimes I just didn't know how to act. Let's face it. Let's, have you ever been in a classroom when you were younger and this person's talking about, I don't know, Love Island? You don't watch Love Island and that person's talking about Game of Thrones, you don't watch Game of Thrones, it's just not you, you're into anime, Naruto or something, or wrestling, or football, and no one in your radius right now messes with that, you're going to feel outside, you're going to feel small, you're going to be like, okay, maybe I'll just hang by myself, be the cool person, not exactly cool, but the silent person that just doesn't get involved with anything, and Trust me, that can really damage you. From personal experience, trust me. Some people might have another way of dealing with things. Cool. But it's never too late to talk to people. Now, for me, I've always been a man that's prided themselves on um, trying to do things myself because I've always felt I've been a slow learner. Um, I've always felt like maybe I'm not really looking at the real answers. The real answers in front of you, I've always tried to look at the alternative route. Never played a long game. Never. But as you get older with life and you just say to yourself, listen, you have to just take it as day one day at a time. Play the long game. Be honest. Be open. Be yourself. And, you know, I felt for me, I've lost a lot of people over the years and I pushed them purposely. Some people I didn't mean to. And, you know, some um, some people I've lost and had nothing to do with it. And that's always going to probably play up in your mind if you're one of those people that like to think too hard and... Hey, listen, we've all been through it. No one can say that they haven't had something that's troubled them on their mind for so long. And, you know, you're trying to act like you're Mr. Strong or Miss Know-It-All and all that. Like, stop kidding yourself. We know you've been through certain, certain situations you probably don't want to talk about, but you probably haven't addressed it or sorted it out. Now, there are people out there like that. Now, not everybody is going to agree with me or not. You could take this subjectively as much as you want. That's totally fine. But for me, I've always felt it's important to be yourself. It's important to be open and honest. Now, excuse me. Now, again, the real reason why I decided to do this is because I felt, you know, there's, again, like I said, there's people out there that deal with that. Um, I have a brother that doesn't really like to talk, worries me, and I'm not sure if that's a mental issue. For me, even myself, I don't even know if I have a mental issue. You know, I've been stubborn, I've been like, oh, over the years, I remember an ex-girlfriend of mine, I'm not going to blatantly give her name out or any of that, but I remember she used to say to me, why don't you talk to people, why don't you go see a therapist? And... 
I did. I tried and it didn't go anywhere. And funnily enough, she left a few months later. And I never really dealt with that properly. And then after that, a lot of things fell fell on me. And since then, I've been in relationships. And there's been times I've been, you know, I've always felt, am I ready? Am I not? I remember I had a girlfriend that I fought the world of, the absolute world of. And she prob she left at one point. I was gutted. I was actually devastated because she was a very nice woman and she was very genuine, very caring. And, you know, we remained friends. And then um, we eventually uh, got back together for a little bit. And I just started feeling really insecure. And unfortunately, you know, I had to let her go because I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel I could give her what she wanted. And, you know, you probably see, you know, this nice guy routine in films. And, you know, a lot of people just go on and like, oh, yeah, really? What was you doing? Like, you're probably banging someone. No, it wasn't. I genuinely felt she needed better because I was a mess. Now, you can't give someone something if you can't even give it yourself. It's as simple as that. If you can't love yourself, how can you love someone 100% fully? You can say it, you can show it, but deep down, if you're not loving yourself, you can't give them the true love that you want. It's as simple as that. Now, for me, I've always wished everybody, you know, you hurt me or you're not, friend, girlfriend, etc. Listen, wish you nothing but the best. This ain't nothing to be bitter about. It's just being honest. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I feel is missing in today's world. A lot of people are not being honest with themselves. A lot of people are afraid to talk. A lot of people don't want to talk a lot of people are afraid of their image look at me i'm sitting here yes a, a, a haircut a week old a beard that should really get trimmed but i don't give a shit i really do not give a shit why do i not give a shit because i'm not a self-centered egomaniac that decides to you know put on a facade to bring people in like for example if i had the latest i don't know jacket from nike or etc like i don't have to dress up just to be me i can wear whatever i want to be me the the patterns the speech everything i'm saying is me coming from the core right I'm not saying you don't have to, you can, you can, you'd have to dress all basic like this night tea that I got on or any of that. I'm just saying be comfortable in your skin. I'm just using that as an example. If you're comfortable in your skin, cool. You ain't got no worries. Just as long as you know within yourself, you're being yourself. You're being you. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, man. Like I said, many people go through their own troubles and their own insecurities in it and i get that but for me obviously like i said this channel i wanted to make it about not just about me obviously about you guys you know what i mean i love to hear from people who struggle with you know insecurities and talking to people and trying to let things off their chest because they're afraid and it's 2020 we shouldn't be afraid of anything the only thing you need to do is be one with yourself now me Hey, I'm not going to be on here and talk to you guys and be like, I'm one with myself. Because I'm not. I'm not. So you're probably thinking, so, easy for you to say. I've come on here searching on YouTube how to be one with yourself because I'm being so insecure and in every, every other thing in the world. And then I end up finding you who can't even give me the answers. Well... I'm sorry if you feel that way, but the answer is within yourself. But what I can do, what I can do, I can give you some very good experiences from my past life. Listen, like I said, I don't mind 
talking about it. I ain't gonna bring out anyone's names because I ain't gonna embarrass them in that. But I don't mind. And I want you to put yourself in your shoes. And you tell me what you had done differently. Maybe in the comment section. Who knows? Or even give me your situation and I can even address it. Time will tell. But like I said, there's no need to be afraid to be yourself. No matter what troubles you're going through. You can just sit down, write it down in a book, the old school way. Do you know what I mean? Before technology has taken over. Or just find a companion and talk to them. It's as simple as that. As long as you talk, everything can be off the chest. Now, let's give you something to think about. Now, excuse me, I've had a lot, a lot of um, crazy situations that I could probably bring up and be like, how could I have done that so, so different? So, so different. And, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> trust me, some things remain to be quiet, but some things you just can't help sit back and laugh about, I have to say. Now, I'll give you something to think about. Now, let's talk about insecurities a little bit. Um, I'm not going to digress too long. Don't want the video to be too long, but I'll give you something about this. Dreams, insecurities. Now, when I was a kid, probably from the age of seven, my earliest memory was football. Football, football, football. Football was everywhere. On the TV, at school. I used to go watch my, my, cousin, my older cousin play Sunday League for his team. It was everything. It was something I lived for. Something I felt I had to do. And it's nothing that happened. It was something I've always wanted to do when I was a kid. No one put a penny to me going to training. There were so many other things. So many important things going on. Other than me wanting to become a professional footballer. No one had enough money or time to take me to the park, train me, find a team for me, etc. Because there were so much other things going on. You can imagine me as a 7-year-old, 8-year-old, 9-year-old kid wondering when am I going to get a chance to go to Highbury and play for Arsenal Football Club. It was never going to happen. A couple of years later, Highbury shut down. Still... Was trying to chase the dream. Went to Sunday League when I was in um, high school, year 10. Um, I've always thought, you know, with proper training, I could be a striker. I always knew where the goal was, etc. But I never had the training. The first touch. I used to struggle with kick-ups. I used to be embarrassed to do kick up I was so embarrassed with everything. Because nobody taught me anything. All I used to see was what it was on TV. I remember one Christmas I asked my mum for a kick master. I never got it. All I got was clothes. The important things. Clothes. Yeah, I might look like, well, I weren't happy. Because I generally wasn't happy at that time. I asked for kick master. I remember Andy Gray on TV talking about kick master. I thought, yes, this will help me get better at kick ups. This will help me get better at my technique. And I'm going to go to school. I'm going to show every single person who doubted me and cussed me and said I was shit. I'm going to twine them up and make them look like shit. Never happened. Never happened. And it's just one of those things in my mind I just had to deal with. As I got older, year 10, did Sunday school. I mean, Sunday school. Sunday league, sorry. Uh, playing for Addiscombe Corinthians. Was average nothing really went well i thought okay this was my start no this ain't you know the premier league or some arsenal academy or fulham academy or anything near enough i oh, even crystal palace they were up the road nothing like that but it's a starting point and nothing i thought okay maybe i try out for the school team no they didn't even give me a chance or a sniff at even times, I've always thought, oh, 
you know, let me just come along and watch and put my two cents in. To me, it looked pity. It looked pity. There was one photo I remember the last day of school I took with the school football team. I wasn't even a part of it. It just looked pitiful. It looked pitiful. Because I had the dream to become a professional footballer and it never happened. All my insecurities, all my dreams were killed because nobody took the time to help me do it. And as the years went on, it slowly, slowly, slowly started to deplete to the point where I'll just talk about the idea to my cousins and my friends. And I just knew and deep down in my heart, it just wasn't going to happen. And that's something I've always had to live by and deal with because, you know, you have to move on. And this is probably why I love Arsenal as much as I do, because that's something I've always dreamed of. Going on to Highbury, going to the Emirates, kicking the ball, scoring a winning penalty, bringing the Champions League to Arsenal, winning the Premier League, etc. FA Cup, which was probably like my favourite trophy as a kid. I used to love watching it on the Sundays and Saturdays and stuff. And, you know, you remember great finals when you were a kid, like Freddie Lomberg winning, winning it against Chelsea, etc. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? But... It just didn't happen. And like I said, you just learn to get over things. And for me, I found a new passion over time. And that's making videos, talking about my favourite club of all time, Arsenal. Which is on my other channel. You know, if you want to subscribe, check that out. And I guess that's the only way I learned to deal with it. And who knows, maybe in life... I might pick up a coach, might go get my coaching badges and do something like that. Just be a coach. Sunday league team, Saturday league team, etc. Something like that. But the point is what I'm trying to tell you guys. The reason of that story is I didn't really have any help. And I was so low. But the one thing I never, ever did was give up on football. Yeah, sure, I gave up playing football. Try to push for something I've dreamt since I was seven years old. But something relatable to football, where my love and my passion can still be shown, it's still there. It's still there. Now, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Of course, there's going to be more little short stories about my personal life and, you know, things I just want to share because I've always feel like, you know, there's people out there that need a little story, need a little bit of confidence, a little bit of energy out there, you know, to show that, you know, it's not over. The fight's still there, you know. Wake up every day, smell the nice clean air. Hopefully it's not polluted by poor carbon monoxide that's outside of people's cars. Joking. But look, the point is... You get up, you rise, you smile, and you fight. It's as simple as that. But yeah, guys, thanks for checking out this video, of course. Um, I will be making more videos on this channel from time to time. Of course, this will be the social channel. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it, but probably going to rebrand it. Who knows? If you're, Of course, if you haven't subscribed to Ryan Williams AFC, make sure you go check that out. Links are in the description. And of course, if you want to get in touch with me, hit my Twitter and my Instagram. The link's always in the description. So guys, here, Ryan Williams, I'm out and um, have a good night. Peace.